Good morning. Hey, it's uh, Friday morning, the day after Valentine's Day, the day after our open house. And I'm here a little early to do the preview video, so I'm going to flip this around and start showing you some of the artwork to speak of. This is a Kit Sap oil painting. Uh, Kit was an independence Missouri artist and uh, really kind of a great regionalist painting there. The painting of the old woman, there's a couple of dogs in the yard behind her. There's no signature, no notifications, just an interesting painting. The Hank Smith painting is kind of a fun modernist piece right there. Looking in the main room, of course the biggest object in the auction this time that has the most draw and appeal is the big Coca-Cola sign right there. I'll get to that in just a second. Let me swing over to the left. <coughs> really great Victorian green man chair, nice you know, folk art primitive uh, portrait. Fabulous early sampler, nice, good condition. Uh, great pictures of that online. Drawing is really wonderful. Uh, it is signed Chin77. Couldn't find anything about an artist that matched that and that work. Beehive plate there. I'll tell you, we haven't had one of these high back piano stools in a long time to sell. And at this auction, we have three of them, which is really amazing. Wonderful early primitive dry sink, 1890, 1900. You can see we had roses out for the open house yesterday for Valentine's Day. Probably the most important painting in the auction is this uh, Boulder, Colorado painting by Peterson, William Peterson. He studied under Sanzen. If you look online, you can see pictures of him with Sanzen in his, in his living room. Uh, and then he became the co-director of the Sanzen Museum. So it's a pretty interesting painting. Pretty well done, fun painting, and a, a good artist that is you know, somewhat important here locally to Kansas City. Interesting thing, the Coca-Cola collection is from one consigner, and their father was active in the Coca-Cola Collectors Association back in the day. The, cal the calendar in the auction is an original, it's up on top there. The, there is also a reproduction calendar that uh, is from the same place to show differences, so that's kind of a neat thing. Pictures uh, top is the Kansas City bottling plant for Coca-Cola. The bottom is the uh, row of tr delivery trucks for Coca-Cola back in 1930, I believe. And then, of course, the big double-sided sign. I talked to the consigner last night, and uh, he wasn't sure. He said that over their career, over their dad's collection, they had three of these signs from different places, and he wasn't sure which one this, which location this one was from. It's double-sided. We have the better side forward, but the other side's almost as clean. <coughs> Which, uh, the other side's got some paint splatter on it. Real nice tin tackers, kind of the, the hobby term is for this, 1931. Yeah, the uh, American Artworks, Coshocton, Ohio. Great, uh, nice tin Coca-Cola sign there. It's the largest Mexican silver sombrero we have ever had to sell. I think it's... 10 inches across. I mean, it's a big, big hat. This is a fun piece. It was in the garage of an estate we're working on from the Coca-Cola stuff. And it was uh, in the garage, kind of as a runner to collect, just to collect stuff. And uh, when I was rolling it up to get all the way to get the Coke sign out, I noticed it had a Neiman Marcus tag on it. So we went ahead and threw it in the auction because it was kind of fun. Some interesting smalls, a couple of Van Briggle flower frogs, uh, German art glass roosters, chickens, fun pieces, studio pottery. This guy here is really cool. We've had pieces with this Mystic label before, the hand of the Mystic, but this one has a paper label as well for Professor Thomas Allen. Couldn't find anything online about him, but it is a neat little painting on a palette. And a folk art, folk art primitive thing. Has some Roycroft coffee cups. Abercrombie and Finch double flask, kind of a neat piece there. More Kansas City advertising, the uh, Dickey, W.S. Dickey Clay. Uh, ashtray, sewer tile ashtray is kind of a fun piece. Kansas artist there, Gene Cook, nice little uh, kind of impressionistic horse painting. This painting is from the California Works, the the estate that has uh, the, the A.J. Heiner pieces. Two of these paintings signed Renee. The other one is from Carmel, California, so we know that he or she was a California artist, but know nothing else about the artist. But they're kind of interesting paintings. Uh, Kuntz, uh, Kansas artist, Kansas Watercolor Society, Railroad Depot, kind of a fun piece. One of my favorite paintings in the auction is the uh, J. Stephen Ward here, the poinsettias. 
Original frame, you know, the carved bamboo is really wonderful. This was under glass probably since, since inception. We took the glass off because it was really cloudy and dirty on the inside, and the colors on this painting are just spectacular. It looks like it was painted yesterday because it's so fresh from being sealed for 80 years. California artist, uh, pretty interesting records there. Nice uh, white clad Simmons Hardware oak box, came in late. There's the Renee painting of the California coastline on the bottom. And then uh, we are several Native American chiefs, uh, 1850s, 1860s colored engravings, nice pieces. The Arrow Collars ca display cabinet is literally a display cabinet. It is not made to get into and out of during the store. They have put the collars in the slots. It's open on the bottom to do that. And then if you were wanting to buy a collar, you'd say, I want this one here. And they would get it from their display in the back or their cabinet in the back. Some interesting stoneware, a couple of store advertising pieces. I kind of dig the little Brown Brothers. Here. I actually uh, know where Osaka's and Alexandria, Minnesota are because I'm from Minnesota. <coughs> oh, there's a neat, neat lot here. 1968, uh, Billy Matz, the father of our consigner, was uh, involved with, kind of in charge of the 1969 Memphis, Tennessee sesquicentennial celebration. And one of the things they did was design, they had a stamp competition, and there are a lot of these stamp submissions there in that box. Some really cool folk art pieces, some cool 60s pieces, and then some that you're like, well, that was just unfortunate. <laughs> If you have any questions while you're watching, go ahead and uh, hit, you know, send a message here or, or give us a call, email, whatever you need to do to ask questions about the auction. Great early uh, folk art, not, a, not really folk art, but more of a country tall case cabinet clock. The face has been repainted, but it's a good eight, seven, eight, late, late 18th century. I like the little double angled chamfer there which is nice, it's kind of an elegant thing, but it's not as de defined as you would see in a city cabinet made piece, so kind of fun. There's the third piano stool at the high back. This one's a little bit more ornate than the other two. <clears throat> great pair, <clears throat> excuse me, great pair of wrought iron torsier with mica shades. These are from the estate that came through California. Uh, you can see they just have that great California mission arts and crafts look to them. Uh, and just really fun. And you don't see mica shades very often at all anymore. A pair of Art Deco skyscraper shades. So top are in nearly perfect condition. That one has a couple little chips around the collar, but still very usable and displayable. Great collection of sterling silver in this auction. And uh, we're really excited about it. We love sterling here. You all know that we do. We sell a lot of silver. But we love when we get, you know, solid, you know, solid 1950s German sterling candelabra. And... 1880s, 1870s, German-made, Russian-marketed coffee pots and you know, chalices and just really interesting, you know, the, 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 the swans there are all silver on glass. There's a solid Gorham one and then there's other Germans that are kind of interesting. Huge box, that's 56 troy ounces, solid silver, 56 troy ounces, almost five pounds of silver there. Great... Um, Black Forest carved wooden trunk with a log pattern. Uh, just a wonderful, wonderful piece. 1880s, 1890s. Great Kansas City watercolor. We, be we believe that's Main Street looking down from uh, basically the World War I monument. Memorial is on the left behind the trees. Crown Center is behind the trees on the right. Uh, and that's Main Street looking down is what we believe. We don't have verified that by comparing the buildings. But that uh, hill looks just like what I see right every day coming into the office. Uh, it's possible it's over closer to <clears throat> Children's Mercy, uh, the uh, Truman Medical Truman Children's College uh, Hospital, about three blocks east. But it's definitely a Kansas City image because of the TBA Jets uh, billboard. And Gail, of course, is a Kansas City artist. Some spectacular painting uh, paper goods in this auction. One of the most interesting Civil War era scrapbooks we've ever seen. Uh, it was originally a military ledger, but then we believe it was a, an attorney or someone of that socioeconomic status, because there is a lot of articles in here about um, 
Then the anti-draft meeting with Stormy and Port Hudson. Obviously, there's military pieces. But there's just some really interesting re um, legal writings in here. Republican gubernatorial nominee extracts one of his speeches from Memphis. A victory in Kansas. Did I see that right? I mean, every time we look through this, I see a victory in Arkansas from Washington. So it's just some really neat of the time frame. I believe this is put, put together in Memphis, Tennessee, where most of this other paperwork goods came from. The Siege of Vicksburg, progressing finally. Pemberton, determined to hold out to the last. From Memphis, latest by Telegraph. There's um, an early printing of the CSA Constitution. There's information about the Klan in here. Um, and again, this is all firsthand, 1863 to 1869. Our colored rulers, speeches of Negroes of the Georgia legislature. Oh my goodness. I need to tag that and get back to it because I didn't see that one and that is really interesting. I want to see what that is all about. <coughs> so again, some really interesting interesting things there. Some other great paper goods. Love the uh, early, early goods. Um, there is in here 1780 to 1790. Here it is, the land deed on the bottom here. Original tract attached by fabric to the original uh, state of North Carolina to Tennessee, 1784-1794. Really cool stuff. Kansas City Structural Steel Photographs, great lot there. Some really great images. Some art glass, great uh, rough seas painting. These paintings here are fun. These are um, kind of confusing. So Ella Blakesley was the mother, born in the 1800s, painted through until I think she died in 1949. And then there are also paintings here by Marion Blakesley Walker, who was Ella's daughter. So, really fun pieces of paintings, uh, 19, a lot of 20s and 30s looking pieces, uh, and a lot of them are labeled as to where they're from, like this is uh, Lake, uh, in Wisconsin, um, Lake Geneva, Lake Geneva, and so some really great looking paintings in that group. Let me go this way, nice little music cabinet, cellars, uh, cellars, kitchen cabinets, this is a accessory piece. Cookie jar with its original stand. You can see the S embossed in the side there. Another J. Stephen Ward painting. Uh, this one is obviously not behind glass, and it is filthy, but it's a good-looking mission-style arts and crafts painting, California Mission. Uh, Great-looking frame as well. That could be conserved and restored, I am sure. Sign titled on the back. Very interesting painting. Uh, I think there's a lot of potential here in this piece uh, if you get a good conservator to, look, to get to, to work on it. Some 1930s uh, etchings, nice little uh, watercolor for sale with this one. A couple of nice sale with watercolors. Confederate States uh, currency coupons, interesting groups there. Great little 1940s mirrored vanity. It's missing one mirror, but it's the probably the easiest mirror to replace, just this this wing flap here again from the California state and just has a great great look nice diminutive size as well nice spool cabinet Victorian wall pocket let me come up this way and kind of shoot over behind nice little oak serpentine dresser nice uh, looks like Jay but it's car fluorite the Regency style jewelry box some wooster pieces nice little painting of geese or ducks Here's more of the silver collection. Really love the throne, the Salvador Dali plate. Uh, there's just all kinds of great stuff. This bowl here is really fun. It has nursery rhymes embossed with fairies on it, coin silver cups. Some more Coca-Cola pieces. This uh, coupon is from 1900-1901 with Hilda Clark on the reverse. The Olympics patch is much bigger than you expect. And we've never seen the three bookmark card before. Really like the baton, again, from the Heiner estate. Heiner was a nationally known conductor, new John Philip Sousa, and that is from his estate. Interesting jewelry all the way throughout. Some nice, just elegant gold rings with diamonds. The Ross Simmons, the Ross Simons, I'm sorry, it'd be Ross Simons, the only one of them. Jewelry is just really, really fl flashy, but understated at the same time, which is hard to do. 
and it all has a better look. Everybody who came in yesterday said it looks better in person than I expected it to, and I, I would agree with that. It didn't. It's delicate enough where it didn't show as brilliant as it really is. These little uh, academic awards are really interesting. 1850s Georgetown College, no maker's mark on them, but uh, they certainly look and feel like coin, and they're just kind of a fun little thing. We found one other set in a museum back east. Some coin silver, some Tiffany silver, nice little boxes. Oh, these are a couple of the most looked at pieces yesterday was the corkscrew legs with the Kansas City advertising on it. Rare to find the corkscrew legs like that in that condition. And then with the Kansas City advertising, I didn't, I've never seen another one and neither had anybody else. The talked to death little coffin is fun from the William Jennings Bryant presidential campaign. And of course, people love the magnifying glass with the mother of pearl handle. A few more interesting pieces. The cast iron plate here, pan and myth allegorical pieces that was added just yesterday it's cast iron heavy so you want to make sure you look through all the catalog again and make sure you didn't miss anything and or that the uh, newest pieces are there that you didn't look at before great tahona or pima basket terms are kind of interchangeable it does have some damage but it's a really great figural piece love the bauer oil jars nice big pot there you can see it's Again, people thought, oh, you know, small piece of pottery, but no, that's the nice talls, I think 14 or 16 inch oil jar. Some photography, which was pretty cool. David Douglas Duncan. Again, another really fun auction. We're really excited about it. We have a great one coming up as far as a jewelry, collect, jewelry collection coming up in just a couple of weeks. But for right now, this is the one you want to focus on. Oh, real quick. This is super cool. The architectural Coca-Cola bottle with the Christmas date on there. Came from the building in the picture. Just super cool stuff all the way throughout. Had a lot of interest yesterday, and of course online we're seeing a lot of interest as well. So thank you all for watching. Again, if you have any questions about how to register, how to bid, how the pickup process goes along, please send us a message here. Send us a direct message. Give us a phone call, 816-283-3633. Send us an email at info at kcauctioncompany.com. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you have about this auction. Future auctions are for us selling for you in the future as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And hopefully it's not going to be snowing too much here, but it just looks like it just started here in downtown Kansas City. We're expecting two to five inches today. So thanks for watching. Bye.